Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here laboring and all truth and sincerity to USA Shalom. This is the brother Amawan Ariyah from GMS Charlotte, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. And this lesson I want to go into on how the good news, this truth is good news to us, but bad news for all y'all. And all right, dealing with, you know, the rest of you people, you wicked, you know, people of the world. OK, this truth is bad news unto you because how you hear us out here, you know, bringing out how the Lord is about to destroy Babylon the Great and put to death a great number of people on the earth. All right. That seems like a horrible thing, all right, to be, you know, uh, talking about. But that's actually a blessing that the Lord is about to do for the earth, man, because the Lord, all right, is going to have to redo the earth over. This is why this whole great reset that Esau Edom is bringing in, all right, is really Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah bringing a great reset, man, all right? And it's going to start, all right, with destroying Esau and his kingdom. All right. And along with you, uh, all you wicked ass people, man, two thirds and the rest of you heathen. OK, because hey, this, this world needs a makeover, man. All right. So with all of us, you know, pretty much chanting down Babylon and, and, and hoping and praying for a new world wherein righteousness lives. All right. This is why we hasten for the destruction of this place, man. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into this. This is Isaiah 61 and 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to teach, so I can to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound right. Because the Spirit of the Lord, all right, is on the prophets that you see out here pushing forth these lessons, going out on the highways and byways and bringing our people back to the understanding of what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah's will for us is here on this earth, man. All right. You know, giving us back hope, you know, that was taken from us when we were brought over here in captivity, man. All right. As I said, man, we're preaching the good tidings. And what's the good tidings that, that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is on his way back to deliver the elect, the true believers, the true worshipers, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right, to redeem them from this captivity and finally, you know, give us peace, which is going to be, a, uh, uh, you know, starting with the kingdom of heaven, man, all right, after Esau, Edom, and Babylon the Great is destroyed, man, okay? It says, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, all right, and that's, you know, giving hope back to the, uh, to the Israelites, man, the elect, the ones that is looking, all right, for an, uh, a change, man, okay? That's looking for a new world, all right? Because they see that this this current world, all right, is broken, man, all right? And this, you know, this world has pretty much, you know, destroyed the minds of our people, all right? But the Lord is giving, you know, uh, is giving this truth back unto us, which is giving us peace, man, like it tells you in John 8 and 32, man, all right? We shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free, okay? So we, we are getting healing from the word, the comforter, man. It says to proclaim... Liberty to the captives, right? Letting us know that we're about to be redeemed from this damn captivity, man. From being under the hand of this devil, man. Okay? And the opening of the prison to them that are bound, right? All right, freeing you spiritually, but also telling you that the Lord is going to physically free us, man. All right? So it says, verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power, to comfort all that mourn, right? Hey, this is why we come out here every every week, every day with new lessons, going into the updates of what the Lord is doing to this place, all right? Letting you know that we're getting closer and closer to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah's return. This is why hey, every year the, the Spirit hops on the Apostle Tahar to coin the year, you know, to where the Spirit is moving, which is why, a hey, Lord willing, 2023 was, year, uh, was coined the hopeful year that all the prophecies come to pass. Cause when you see everything that's going on in the world, all right, 
Hey, World War Three talks is, is, is revving up more and more. All right. Hey, Esau is pushing forward to this new world order because he knows that he has a short time, man. All right. He sees Israel waking up, man. All right. And he's afraid. So this is why hey, everything that we're bringing out is letting you know that, hey, Lord willing. All right. Hey, we, we are about to witness the return of the Lord, man. All right. This society is about to crash, man. It's about to break down and, and, and pretty much, you know, uh, 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 go under, man. All right. And that's going to be, you know, the, uh, the starting of all, you know, what, we, what we're talking about, man. OK, because the scriptures tell you when your shall returns, man, it says the fire shall already be kindled in the earth, man. All right. So things are going to have to get bad before they get, uh, you know, they, they get good, man. OK, like I said, man, hey, you don't see a rainbow until you until you uh go through the storm, man. All right. And America is about to go through that storm, man, that tempest, man, which is the, the judgment of your by Shem Yahweh OK, this is verse three to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified, right? Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has given us this truth to go and proclaim it unto our people so that the the uh, the righteous amongst us, well, the Lord willing, you know, whereof that righteous number, the elect, all right, can be waking up, uh, woken back up and, and strive, you know, to be saved, you know, in, in, in the truth, man. All right. That's seeking for you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? Because like I said, they see something's wrong with this world. All right. And they seek for a change, man. That change is going to come through Yahweh Shai returning, man. All right. And the Lord setting things back up the way they were supposed to be, man. Those, those are the ones that, that's uh, looking for that, man. The elect, man. All right. And this truth brings you all the answers and clarity that you need to be comforted because you know that you're going through all this. You're seeing the world go to hell. All right. Because these things must happen before we get, you know, uh, saved out of here, man. Which lets us know that we're almost, we're almost out of here, man. Our, our prison, uh, prison sentence is almost up, man. All right. This is Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now it is, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Right. Because, hey, we're seeing the prophecies are, are, are pretty much coming to pass like, quicker and quicker where, hey, the last major prophecy that that is showing itself, you know, on its way is the mark of the beast, man. The RFID chip, which is being pushed and pumped and being, you know, a uh, uh, gradually conditioned for you people to accept. All right. That's that's on its way, man. All right. Alongside with World War Three and Jacob's trouble, man. All these things all right, are, are on the forefront, on the horizon, fastly approaching, man. All right. Which lets us know that we're almost out of here, man. All right, because the moment this uh this karagma this RFID chip is is mandated, all right, that's letting us know that Yahweh Shai, hey, he's on his way back, man. All right, like he, hey, he's close, man. Okay, it says our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Hey, we're almost out of here. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, because hey, we know that this devil's about to come down. With great wrath, with great, you know, uh, uh, deception, all right? Hey, persecution, all these things are coming to pass. So, hey, we got to make sure that we're in the spirit, man. Hey, putting on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Like it tells you in Ephesians chapter 6, man. All right? Let us walk honestly in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, right? Because... Hey, that's the ways of the world that has these people's minds blinded and distracted from what's going on. So therefore, they can't see, all right, that the birth pains are, are drawing close and close. Those are contractions, all right, are, are, are pretty much showing that, hey, this shit about to pop, man. All right. So we got to be circumspect and be sober to, to continue to watch to let us know that, man, we almost out of here, man. All right. And when we when we are, are, are bring these things out through the scriptures, all right, we're chanting down Babylon. We're putting that. That, uh, that that vibration out there that is bringing this place down, man. Because, hey, this world moves off the vibration of the prophets, man. All right? Hey, the prophecies are what control everything and let us know the times that we're in. That's why when you read, all right, about how do you discern the times, man, you discern the times through the prophecies, man. All right? Which lets us know that the day of the Lord is almost here, man. Which you people, 
all right, don't understand all right, how detrimental that's going to be, man. Because you think that it's going to be, you know, something that the whole world is going to rejoice in. Hell nah, man. All right. As you can see, all right, you, you having this, you know, whole uh, train derailment, which, you know, these toxic chemicals are being, you know, uh, uh, put in the air, in the water. All right. A famine is, is fastly approaching more pestilence. All right. The love of, of many is waxing cold. All right. It's all type of things going on in the earth, man. Great perplexity and fear is being pumped. All right. Unto the whole world, man. Hey, but we're we're not distressed though, because a hey, Lord willing, we're of the elect, man. Hey, we're gonna be protected while the rest of you people out here are are walking into this thing totally unprepared, man. All right. This is why, like I said, it's good news, man. It's good news, all right, for us because we know what's coming, man. All right. But you people are are totally clueless, man. This is why, and hey, you you Christians, all right, constantly, you know, uh, uh, I can't wait for the Lord to come back. All right. You saying that, but do you understand what you're really asking for, man? All right? Because what are you doing, all right, that, that you're going to be uh, uh, looked at as acceptable in the eyes of the Lord when he when he uh, makes his glorious return, man? This is Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Because like I said, what are you doing to prepare yourself for the coming of, uh, uh, of the Lord, man? All right, because we know... Yahweh Shah is coming in, in a specific spirit, all right, to punish all them that do wickedly on the earth, man, all right? So if you're not doing what pleases the Lord, Psalms 2 and 12, kiss the son lest he be angry, all right? The Lord, you're going to find yourself on the wrong side of Yahweh Shah's anger, man, all right? And he's going to destroy you with sore destruction, all right? It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, right? Because you're going to be in a total case of confusion because you're you're going to you're going to wonder why is all these calamities happening simultaneously like this, man? All right, because the Lord said it. Let me get that real quick. All right. It's not going to be a nice time when, you know, the day of the Lord arrives, man. All right? It's going to be all type of, you know, uh 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 destruction happening, man. All right? This is second uh Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 5. It says, Behold, save the Lord, I bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole world, it's like the whole earth, and her hurtful and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Right. So all the wickedness that's being done in the earth, man, all right. The Lord is seeing is sending plagues, man. All right. Various forms of death is going to befall the world, man. And a lot of you people are going to find yourselves, you know, acting out that show. All right. That used to come on. I think it was AMC where uh, the show was called A Thousand Ways to Die. But the Lord. All right. He's going to up that to where it's going to be a, a infinite ways to die, man. You people are all going to find yourself in, in different vari uh, variations of that sword, man. All right. Like I said, famine, death. All right. And destruction, so the sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. The plagues, man. Pestilence, all right? Hey, it's going to be bad out here, man, all right? But you people are looking for the Lord to come back, man. But you're not going to, you're not going to, uh, uh, you're not going to be pleased when you see the spirit that Yahweh Shah is coming back in, man, all right? Because this world has has conditioned you to think that who the, who the world in and recalls Jesus Christ returns, man, all right? That he's coming to, to bring... You know, uh, 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 joy on earth. You had that 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 song in the Christian church. You know, joy to the world. You know, the Lord has come. Like that, it's not going to be joy unto you people. All right, it's only going to be joy unto the elect because that's going to be the sign for us. To let us know that Lord willing, if we're of that uh, of that number, that we're going to be delivered. Okay, because when Yahweh Shah returns with the host of angels, all right, he's going to be you know beaming up those that he uh you know he has he sees fit. For salvation, all right, with Lord willing, that's us. This is why we're, you know, uh, doing these works, man, all right? Because you have been given a total uh, lie about what these scriptures are really about, man, all right? Because they, you, you hear these Christians like that demon that we have to deal with here in Charlotte, all right? You hear them, you know, I got good news, I got good news, all right? Hey, the good news is that Babylon the Great is about to be destroyed, all right? 
But that's only good news until the elect, until the righteous, until the men of the Lord, man, until the rest of you world, until the rest of the world, man. And that's that's terrible, horrific news, man, because you don't know. All right. What in you you follow on because you have been living a, a, a ungodly life, which we're telling you that if you don't repent. All right. You're going to find yourself being put to death in a horrific way, man. All right. Because hey, this book. All right. Doesn't just you know speak on uh, sunshine and rainbows, man. Hey, this this book. As I'm about to read, all right, Ezekiel 2 and 9. And when I looked and behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations, mourning, and woe, right? And that roll that is talking about, the roll of a book is talking about these scriptures, man, okay? And within these scriptures is written, all right, lamentations, mourning, and woes, man. These are all, you know, uh, uh, sorrowful, you know, sayings, man. All right, lamentations, hey, that's, that's a, uh, cr I means crying out, man. All right, it's going to be a lot of crying, all right, mourning. And what what do you normally mourn over, man? All right, you mourn because uh, you see death, man. You see sorrow, all right? And woe, woe is destruction, man. So there's going to be a lot of crying, sorrowing, and, and, and death taking place. That's And that's written all throughout the Bible, man. Because end time prophecies, all right, speak on a, 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 a horrific time on the earth, man. All right. Great, you know, great death is going to be taking place in the day of the Lord, man. All right. And leading up into the day of the Lord, man. OK, because like I said, man, hey, the scriptures detail the destruction of Babylon, the great man. All right. The end of the world is a serious thing. Armageddon. All right. Which in the Hebrew is Armageddon. All right. All right that, that's that's a, a, a very scary topic. That these people don't like to talk about when it comes to the Bible, man. All right. But we must get into it because we understand that this is a bridge that we must cross before we get to the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. So this is a uh, second Ezra chapter four, verse 28. It says, but as concerning the things whereof thou ask of me, I will tell thee for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Right. Because the Lord prophesied. All right. Which is where I hear prophesying. Okay. That the evil that Yahweh by Shem Shai has set up for Babylon and you wicked ass people, all right, is, is already in the works. But the destruction hasn't came yet because the Lord all right, has an appointed time to where all this is going to pop off, man. All right. So us as being the watchmen, all right, we are set here to pretty much warn you of these things before they come, man. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good, right? So in order for the kingdom of heaven to be established, man, first, uh, we must we must go through this uh, uh, turbulent time of, you know, great destruction, man, all right? Babylon must go down, all right? We must go through Jacob's trouble, all right? We must go through all these horrific things the Lord has prophesied to take place in this world before we can enter into the kingdom of heaven, before we can get those promises and blessings that the Lord has set up for us, man. All right. So this is why we prophesy and chant down Babylon the Great, man, because we know this is not our rest. All right. And the scripture tell you we have no continuing city here, man. Okay. We seek for a, a, a kingdom of righteousness, man. And we can't receive that until this place is destroyed, man. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse eight. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit it's better than the proud in spirit, right? So hey, it's a beautiful thing, all right, that we're at the end of Esau Edom's queendom, man, all right? Because hey, the beautiful thing that's going to come after, which is the kingdom of heaven, all right, is when the world is finally going to be at peace, man, like it tells you in Proverbs 29 and 1, all right? Hey, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people, uh, they mourn, man, all right? So, hey, it's going to continually... Uh, be mourning in the world the longer Esau has this rulership, man. And he's going to make sure that things get worse and worse, all right, which is the spirit of the Lord, really. But until, you know, we, we get to his uh his hegemony being destroyed, all right, and it's going to continually be a mourning. But we're witnessing that destruction take place, man, which is a, a very honorable thing. Let me get that real quick.
This is Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter it with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So Lord willing, where of those men, all right? Hey, we see the fall of Esau Edom's kingdom, all right? Because the number one sign to let us know that we're almost out of here is you got the prophets starting with the elders and apostles and elder bishops on down, all right? And all of us brothers that's out here laboring, okay? We are are, are chanting down the the, uh, the the kingdom, all right? This kingdom, Salakia, Babylon the Great, which is something that our ancient forefathers did when the Lord was about to take down the kingdom, man. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophet that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. So the prophets of old prophesied about the destruction of the kingdoms that they were, you know, currently in. So we're doing the same thing to let to let the people know. All right. Hey, you're you're about to witness the end of the world, man. All right. And you will see this. In your lifetime, the Lord says he's going to cause that proverb in Israel to cease, man. All right. So you people out here that don't take the prophets seriously, you're looking for a sign. The sign is right here to let you know that this place is out. All right. Matthew 29 and 30, uh, 39. It's like Matthew 12 and 39. And he answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign and there shall no sign be given to it. But the sign of the prophet Jonah is right. And, and these people, and they're starting to see it more and more all right, as the squeeze gets tighter and, and these things, all right, get worse out here, man. All right. But the main way to let you know that this place is through is that the prophets are out here, man. Just as Jonah prophesied the destruction of Nineveh. All right. But he, he didn't get to see. He didn't actually get to see Nineveh be destroyed. All right. But Lord willing. Okay. We're of the elect and we're going to witness Babylon go up in flames when the, when the Lord sends the ICBM nuclear missiles, which are prophesied in the scriptures. All right. To bring destruction to Babylon, the great man. And we get to see you wicked people. All right. Be consumed in that lake of fire, man. All right. So, Lord willing, man. Hey, we continue to endure in this thing, man, because hey, we ain't got too much longer. All right. As I said, our salvation draw of night, man. All right. Hey, the, the, the Lord is about to bring. All right. Uh, 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 he's about to bring us out of this thing, man. All right. So we got good things that await for us. OK, as long as we continue to uh, to endure, man. All right. Let's see if I got anything else. You know, that was pretty much it, man. My my phone cut out my notes. So, yeah, I'm going to end it right there. All right. So, Lord willing, man, this lesson was edifying. All right. Hey, we just got to continue to endure, man. All right. Scriptures say that, you know, we get that real quick. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be uh, saved, man. Right. So as long as we continue to endure, all right, until the end, all right, we, we continue to trust in the Lord. All right. And, and let him guide us until, you know, the end, man. Hey, then. All right. The same shall be saved, man. We're going to be protected. All right. But we got to keep the faith, man. We have we have the vision. All right. We know what the Lord is about to do, man. So we just pray that the Lord keeps the spirit on us and we continue to fight, man. All right. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. I'm going to end it right here. I want to give all honor, praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect. Until next time I say, Shalom.